A morning, we're here with uh, Damien Jennings and we're at Brooklyn's New Year's Day meet and it's not raining and it's not cold so that's always pretty promising and we're here with Damien's new car. Is it a, is it a new car Damien? Well it's a 19 year old car now but yeah it's new to me. Not that new though is it? Uh, no it was uh, 2003 January 2004 I picked it up and we've got it in this colour today which is Porsche Miami Blue and um, it, oh, it wasn't this colour originally obviously so talk us through your, your colour changes on this one well when I bought it it was uh, X-Power grey with the grey roof leather trim uh, lovely little car I bought it didn't have nothing to do with MG's just drove it for a two seater car and then uh, 2009 I saw an article about driving uh, MGs around London, so I just phoned up the number and it was the car club and joined it, bought the hat, bought the jumper and see the results. Love it. And there we are. So th this has only just come out of a, an extensive respray. That's right, a month ago, yeah. Had it done in uh, near the Ace Cafe in London by a nice MG owner uh, called Marco and um, he's done a really great job on it. So it's not the first time it's had a complete respray because you changed it from the grey to what? Yeah, 2010, um, I decided to go with something different. So it was only five years old, so I changed it to uh, Dover White, white with the blue, blue stripes. And this was similar to the Vintage Racing uh, limited edition model we found in France? That's correct, yeah, yeah. Uh, I liked it, it stood out. Uh, got quite a lot of uh, interest in it. So um, it was only a year and a half ago I decided to take the stripes off and I sort of fell out of love with it and then I put the Paul Jacoby kit on it and then I decided to get it painted. So talk us through the kit that you've got on this. I mean, it's, it's looking at it now, it's pretty obvious. You've got side skirts, you've got a bonnet scoop, but we'll walk around and you can show us. Okay, starting from the, the bonnet, uh, this is the Paul Jacoby bonnet which has got the scoops in. Um, that was the last thing I put on there. Uh, the bumper is a standard bumper and all I did is remove the, the center line out and then um, put the grill in, which is the same grill, which was at the bottom here. I just modified it to fit this. Uh, the spoiler itself, the front spoiler, used to have the Seat Leon splitter and now it's the, um, the again, the Paul Jacoby um, front splitter. And all I've done is uh, moulded it when I put it in. I bonded it all the way, all the way right round. Uh, I don't know. This might be the best way to show this. On the side, we fitted uh, again the same kit was the Jacoby uh, side steps. Again, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I had it. I bonded it all the way in, so that it's not a removable piece. So it's all done okay. there. Uh, reverse side is the Paul Jacoby again I, I stayed with the same kit just to keep it the same was the rear diffuser again I, I didn't want it so to be with the little gaps and bits in it so I actually molded it and bonded it and I trimmed it so that it all bent it folds all the way in so you didn't have the extra piece that comes around on the sides I cut them out so I could bond it all the way through and then when I had it painted the idea was to go with the black trim so I've had all this done in satin black so that's the Miami Blue right through. Badges, one of the nice MG owner who makes the badges for me. He um, made them and I had them colour dipped so they're the exact same colour match. Uh, and again, with MG owners, uh, you can put your hand out and all of a sudden they come up and then you find yourself the new split, uh, new rear spoiler, which I decided to cut the sides out, refill them. Uh, and then I had it, when I put it in, I made sure that they all sit flush, front side and back. And then I had my um, uh, Mike Satter hoops again. Put your hand out, and then uh, one, another good NG owner will come up. Um, will say that he's got a set available. So um, thanks to Andy Partridge for all those lovely parts. Uh, and then I just had them painted and um, took them apart, and then repainted them sat in black, uh, right. and sanded them, and just give them a good once over. No, they look nice on the back there, don't they? Yeah. As well, you've done a little bit on the interior. Yes, uh, I'm a. I don't. If I'm honest, I'm not sure about the the pocket. 
I tried it, I played around with it, I painted it, it didn't come out well, I tried it again, it didn't come out, and then I got fed up, and then I just thought, just quick wet sand and just throw it back in. But the sides, I, um, the sides I decided to do that in my kitchen, repaint those, and then I did bits, but, and then the seat belts are coming out. Uh, they're being changed already, so, um, Rob Parry's doing them for me, so that's, right, that's okay. so I get them done at Stonely. So what are you having done there? Uh, color, different color. He's going with the jade, uh, the jade. It's like a jadey, bluey green, yeah. which will go with this. But again, this color, when I photograph it, it, it comes out. It looks a different shade. Mm. Uh, so it's very frustrating, very frustrating with um, the color. And then of course MG Ted. Ah, oh, well, he's got his jumper on. Got a ma matching jumper. <laughs> he got his, <laughs> he got his knitted jumper. So uh, that was very nice of the lady that did that for me. Yeah, so I'm, ha I'm happy with it. Yeah. And then you had the, the, the new, the new wheels, um, which was the Team Dynamics uh, Pro Race Four, they call them, and with little custom. I don't think you can see that custom, custom centre caps made. Okay, what's it got on there? Oh, it's got your name on it by the look. Yeah, like Damien's Team Dynamics MGTF. <laughs> and the guy that did it, um, again, another good at Nice MG Rover owner, uh, literally changed the colour, the shape of the car on, on it as well. People don't notice that part. It's actually MG, MG shape now. All right, okay. Yeah, so... Um, yeah. Oh, and the side scoops. And the side scoops on there too. That's yeah. the finishing touch. Yeah. No, it certainly looks good. So there, there isn't anything else to do on there now, is there? Well, just a bit of a lighting kit, maybe. Um, yeah. Yeah, but um, I'm happy. And some people say, well, what did I pay? I paid a, f a nice amount. I'm happy with the amount. I had a brilliant um, guy I found at the Ace Cafe. And as soon as I mentioned that I'm having it done, and he turned and said he had an MG75. Uh, uh, 75. We got talking, and I, then I asked him, would he look at it? He looked at it, agreed it, and then... Um, I left in his capable of hands. And he's done a really good job on it. Well, I think he, you know, just, just any old bloke, he, was, he had MG there and he had a midget uh, MGB he's doing now. Yeah. So um, yeah. I knew I was going to be in brilliant hands. <laughs> no. But mind you, I still, my, I, I liked the idea when, when my car was white with the blue stripes, I liked, I really did like that. And it was 12, 11 years was, was it with the stripes. It was grey for four and a half. Then it was white with the blue stripes, and then I took the stripes off. I fell out of love with the car, and then I was deciding whether it's going to be white with pearlescent uh, colour on it. Then the the 85th was had the pearlescent, which yeah. I, we looked at when it was here yeah. at um, that MG day here, yeah. British, British car day. Uh, and then I just decided I needed something different. So I, I obviously I photographed Porsches, so. Um, I spotted the colour and I just think I, I loved it. It's no 911 GT3, but <laughs> but it's mine. I love it. I've had it since new, so you know, I'm showing it some love. So yeah, hopefully it will see a good few more years. Well, thank you very much, Damien, for showing us around today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.